What's up guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to help a U9 hockey player with a shot. I got Mason here as my uh, demonstration. What you're going to find with U9 players is uh, some of them are going to have a great shot and some of them are still figuring it out. So uh, let's get a few shots and we'll see what we can do to help with a U9 player. I find one of the best ways to work on a shot with younger players is to just have them shoot the puck against the boards. The thing is, uh, you go through pucks really quickly if you have a drill. So if you want to get the best bang for your buck, you get every kid to grab about two or three pucks, line up around the boards, and you can have your entire team shooting all at once. They hit the boards and it comes back to them. You can kind of see what their shot looks like and you can also give them corrections. Get all the coaches to spread out and be really engaged with the players. One little trick is to get them to aim for something. So Mason, I want you to aim for the E in Lakeside. See how many times you can hit that E. Work on giving me all you got in your shot. Ready, go. Oh, pretty close, not bad. You got a pile of pucks here, Mason, just keep on ripping them. Try to break the board, send it right through the boards. I can break the board, sucker. Let's do it. Ooh, pretty good. Get that weight transfer. Keep on hitting the F. Yeah, hit that E, right in the dead center of it. Really follow through with that shot. Nice. Nice good starting point and we can see some of the things that we can look for for corrections. A lot of the younger players, they've learned how to kind of shovel the puck up like that, open the blade and flip it, but they don't really have that power. So some of the biggest improvements you can make at the U9 level is teaching good posture. So not bending over too much at the hip. Let's get that head up and chest up. So Mason, watch me. Look, instead of being like this, bent right over, let's just sit down a little bit. What I want you to do is load this, yeah, let's see it. Not bad. So we can see a lot of arms here and not a lot of legs or weight transfer. So let's get that weight transfer. So we'll get in that good stance. Nice, knees bent. And we're gonna bring the puck and our body back at the same time. You can see now, look, your nose is over this back toe. That's how you know you did it right. And when you shoot, you're gonna explode off that leg, move the puck, and then release it. Get that nice snap at the end, right? So we want all one big explosion. Bring it back. Boom! Another good trick, you want them to shoot hard. Say, I want to hear that board. I want to make it really loud, bang. Remember, we're going to bring the puck and our body back and then explode. Put everything you got into it. Push with this leg. Get that, your weight moving towards it. There we go! That was a great one. Bring that puck back, explode off that leg. Get your whole body moving. Yeah, now there's the thump. That's getting loud. Pull the puck back a bit. Oh, that's all right. Then explode. Nice try, nice try. What we want to do, let the kids get a lot of shots, a lot of reps, a lot of feel throughs, a lot of corrections against the boards. Just pound in those repetitions. And then once they have it dialed in, let them do it more game-like. So let's move the pucks to the corner. Really easy drill here. Have the kids come out of the corner, around the top of the circle, and get a shot on net. The correction you want to make is a lot of them want to hold it, hold it, hold it, and shoot once they're in the crease. So get them to shoot a little earlier and remind them, let's see that power, right? Load that puck up and explode. Ready, Mason? Skate out to the top of the circle, and then come in and rip it. Woo, that's a good hard shot. Let's do it again. This is great for game situation training. You get to connect the single skill, multiple skills. They got to skate, they control the puck, they come out, control that puck, load it up and rip it. There we go, that's a nice hard shot. Good speed, good speed. Pick a spot, pick a spot, and woo, nice hard shot. Whoa, he's sliding. A lot of players at the U9 level, they can sort of lift the puck, but not that high. So a really great way to motivate them to shoot higher, just throw something in the net. I remember my dad, when he was a coach, he brought out a piece of plywood and just put it along the bottom, and every kid wanted to lift it over that piece of plywood. I have a hockey stick, so you can kind of jam that in the net somewhere, give him something to aim over. Let's throw it down here and I'll throw my stick over here. Just gives them something to lift the puck over. Okay, Mason, I want you to shoot it over the sticks, all right? Try to shoot it high. That's easy. All right, let's see it. Head up and pick a spot. Oh, I don't know. I hit one of the sticks a little higher next time. You'll see on the YouTube video. Try to shelf it. Load up that back leg and really rip it. Oh, hit the stick that time. There we 
go. And shoot her high. Woo, that was a nice hard shot. So that's a great warm up drill. It just gets them moving and shooting on the move. Now we're gonna add some passing to it. It's great to combine skills. So he's gonna pass it to me. I pass it back to him. He picks it up, goes in on net, and shoots. Boom, let's go again, Mason. Of course, we can throw in a few corrections here for passing. Make sure, show the blade where you want it. Yep, 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 call for it. Skate and pass in front of it. There we go, right on the tape. And get that shot. If you have a pretty good passer on your team, you can throw the passer on the circle and just rotate, right? So the kids get a feel and you can uh, teach that communication, like call for the puck, stick on the ice, pass a little in front of the player while they're skating. Give me a good, uh, give me a good one and go shelf on this one, all right? Shoot top shelf. Ready? Right here, yep, 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 ready? Show me the blade, show me the blade, pick it up, there we go. Skate, 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 skate. Let's get a good shot. Oh, nice try. If you wanna go up high, Go like that, right when you finish, that'll open the blade. Yeah, it'll open the blade and you can shoot up higher. You ready, let's go. Pass, yep. Go, 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 skate, skate, skate. Oh, he got in too close. See, I could pick up. Uh-oh, we got a wobbler. We got a wobbler. All right, there's a few ways that you can help a U9 player with their shooting. You see Mason is still working on shelving those pucks. And that's something if you're a coach or a parent, you can give them a little bit of homework because it's hard to get enough reps in on the ice during practice. There's so much to work on. Skating is so important. So you know the 10,000 Shots app? That's an app that we created, uh, Hayden and I, and even Mason's been using it. And it's a way to encourage players to shoot more at home. So you guys can download that app. It's absolutely free. It encourages the players to take 10,000 shots. And uh, shooting at home is a great way, especially when the kids are younger, to learn how to lift the puck, go top shelf. So there's a few drills for you guys. Let me know what you think about them. Let me know your favorite ones in the comments section. We'll be out here again to do some stick handling drills for the United players. And uh, yeah, let me know what other videos you want to see on the channel. We'll see you in the next one.